Welcome to the Trafalgar Centre in Nelson for this round five match between the Tactics and the Mystics. Well, it was much harder fought than we were anticipating at times in the match. The Tactics got away early, but in the end, they only won by four, 52-48, but much improved attack from the Tactics. It really was from the Tactics, and they really found the space well. They connected well on attack, and they really did convert the ball that their defence uh, got for them throughout the game. Player of the match was centre, Miora Poi. She seems to grow each week and today she had her radar on to Ellie Bird. Oh, this was a great contest uh, here for Kimiora Poi. She had two different centres up against her, but she really stood up to the test. I love the way that she connected with Simone Nathan on attack. Just allowed uh, Poi to do her job. And then, as you said, the connection with Bird. She saw the space beautifully. But if it wasn't on, what I liked about Poi is she did reset it and work herself back onto the circle edge. Also great on defence. She comes through the ball really well, but it's just a ball that she offers up to her shooters. Yeah, she's just a little nugget, always going for any loose ball on the ground. Was well, someone that had a massive impact when they came on was Grace Nwicky. She's 17. We know she's had an impact in previous matches, but again, this one was significant. Well, this was great by Wicky. She came on and she did get a few offensive penalties first, but she changed it up and she really was a target for the Mystics. They found her well and they did really look after her. They didn't force the ball in too much. The way that she connected with her mid courts was beautiful, but the way also the work that Mez did out the front, Mez just attracted a bit of the defense and she also took just a little bit of pressure off and allowed Wicker to just give herself a little bit more space and uh, get the ball in shooting position. Well, they certainly changed things up in the last quarter of the Mystics. Jamie Hume had gone to the bench, so had Alyssa Petta Tuiava, and they came storming back in that fourth. Well, this fourth quarter, would you believe it? They won it 20 to 9, uh, the Mystics. It shows that they can put this much points on the board. This was great by them throughout the court. Defensively, they were getting ball, but on attack, I think they've found their starting seven. I love the way that Iverson took control down the attack, and she just offered a different release to Weke with the ball. Uh, sometimes she released it straight away, or she just waited till Weke just positionally moved her body and then put it into the space. So I really do think that the Mystics have found their starting seven here. Well, absolutely. We know they've had no issue on defence. And when you look at the stats, they get a number of deflections, this Mystic side. They also pick up intercepts and rebounds. They just need to score more ball. Today, their percentages were up a little at 75. But the tactics, they got their turnovers down. We've seen them up into the 30s at times. So it was good to see that from both teams. Less ball on the floor. And if we look at the shooting stats, no surprises, Ali Bird, 84. 4%. We're seeing that a lot, but the best thing, look at that, Grace Nwicky, 91%. Jamie Hume, a little bit of improvement to be made, but across the board though, Courtney, improvements from both sides, and that will stand them in good stead going into Super Sunday. Oh, it really will, and uh, the Mystics, they're up against it. They've got two games next week, starting on Super Sunday, then again on the Monday, but they'll take confidence from today, and they'll know that if they can build on this, uh, they'll be in for a good fight. Yeah, no, it was a great match in the end. We love a close one. There was a bonus points there on the board, the Mystics. The score today, the Tactics 52, the Mystics 48. Contact, keep up, take it.